this is quite not quite an Xcode quickie because there is a fair amount of coding to do. But you won't have to do it while you're looking at me because I'll provide the source code and references from where I got it. I was trying to put Game Center into my app and found uh, some tutorials on, on the internet. The tutorials were good, except each one that I put in generated an error somewhere, and I spent ages trying to get past these errors. The documentation, of course, in Apple's uh, uh, websites is beautifully presented, but I always have a difficult time with that, too. So what I thought I could do is show you what actually worked when I finally got past the errors so you can add Game Center to your app. So here we go. I'm going to assume that you know how to add a new app, register it on iTunes Connect. But here's what you have to do to use Game Center. If you go to the app, here's one, I just call it Game Center Test, and um, go to Manage Game Center. At this place, you create leaderboards. I've created one. Here it is. I called it the high score and called it and gave it this ID, GHS. You've got to remember that, GHS. Okay. You go to add a language. When you do that, you can give it various names, um, specific names for this leaderboard, and you can add a picture for it. All right. Well, let's just back up. The next thing to do is you go down to achievements. You do a similar thing. You make an achievement. I've just called mine level one. You can have lots of levels. And uh, you give it a point value. That just means if your achievement was, for example, gathering the five treasures or something, you might call that point value 100. And when they've achieved them five treasures, they got 100. It's not the same as the points that your program itself is giving, maybe 10 points for every time they get a basket or something if they're throwing objects in a basket. This is the points for achieving a certain level. Again, you'll go to add language. I added English. And you'll create an image that'll pop up on the Game Center board if they have uh, finished that um, uh, achievement. All right, now into Xcode. <coughs> when you go into Xcode, the first thing you're going to have to do is whip down to the linked frameworks here under Summary and add, by touching the plus sign, add GameKit Framework. Then you'll be ready to go. Okay. So let's see what's happening. Uh, the next step was to add a file to the program, which is called Game Center Files. I don't think you actually have to do this. I think you could put all the Game Center stuff right in line in your main um, your main view controller .h or view controller .m files. But most of the tutorials set it aside in a separate file so that you could just use it in any apps without changing the file itself. So what you do to this is go File, New, pick an Objective-C class, and change the subclass to NS Object. I called mine Game Center Files. Let's look at Game Center Files. Game Center Files is more than we need. So in fact it's got the, these um, methods listed in the protocol. Now you have to have the protocol. And these are methods that I'm not even going to use today. These would be match started, match ended, and match or for if you were playing against somebody else uh, on the internet. I'm not using this. I'm just using Game Center to record scores. So the key things are I'm using a Boolean Game Center available. It will be yes or no if it's available. And whether the user is authenticated, meaning has, they, has the user signed in to Game Center. The M file has, let me back it up, a few things to synthesize. Again, that's Game Center available, so on. I'll show you the, the key thing is, since you're going to be just dumping this from the source code, from a tutorial or from what I'll provide on my uh, internet site, I'll just point out a couple of things that, that are important that, that make a difference. This is Game Center available that automatically runs and will uh, we'll check and see whether your app is connected to the internet. If it's not connected to the internet, then, then Game Center isn't available, of course. Um, your app will authenticate the uh, user. Let's just back this up. Uh, authenticate user somewhere. 
authentication change. Well, we'll come come to it here. Ah, here it is. Authenticate local user. This gave me lots of errors. And in fact, you can see a warning right here saying the uh, the thing is deprecated, meaning that it doesn't apply to OS X6. I'll move this over here a little bit. There you go. So you can see a little more. Uh, it turns out that this is a, a neat trick that I found on uh, one of the forums. This, what this person's done is defined system version less than, that's a variable name, and then in brackets, a little string that goes in here. Now what goes in here is actually this, the system version. So UI device current device system version is a built-in method that will deliver the version device. So you see down here, if the system version is less than 6.0, we're allowed to do this because this says deprecated at 6.0. So this warning is there, but it's meaningless because it's never going to be executed because a 6.0 operating system will do this instead, and this is the way you do it for 6.0. All right, that was that was a great trick. What else have we got? We've got uh, reporting a score. So what happens when you report a score is you uh, it looks for an error message. And if there's no error, it reports the value of score to uh, Game Center. Same thing for achievements. Here is submitting an achievement. You set the percent accomplished, which be a hundred, usually. So if it's a, if you set a, a hundred, then the player gets the award for that achievement level. There are places here for putting in error conditions, which I have not put in. And some of the websites have them, and I still haven't got past some of the errors that are in those. I'm not an experienced Xcode programmer. I'm just hoping that I can help you save the amount of time that I spent trying to figure all this stuff out. Now let's go to the storyboard. Storyboard, we have four buttons and a label. This button will show Game Center, obviously. When we play the game, the score is going to go up, so, so I will simulate that by clicking this button, and that will make the score go up right here. And then I'll press this button to say that the game's finished. At that point, my app should submit the score to Game Center, and it should send an achievement to Game Center. That's still in this. Send in a report to Game Center where the person has uh, passed one of the levels to earn his achievement. This button will just kill the things that we've set so we could do it again and test it out. Here's the code in view controller. Remember there is a label of four buttons. There they're listed right here. Game Center Manager is the variable name for the, what we accessed when we access Game Center files, which was that NS object file I showed you earlier. Current leaderboard is just the the name of the leaderboard. Remember that GHS that I mentioned? That's going to be in use there. Okay. Finally, the view controller. We're almost finished. Remember that um, you got this code so you don't have to type it. But you can. I'll leave it on the screen so at least you can pause it if you want to. Is Game Center available? Yes or no? I hope it's yes. Percent complete. We need to know that. We need to know the score. And we need to know what level the score has to be in order to pass the first achievement level. So that's set right here. I've just set arbitrarily at 50. Down here, view did load. There is the GHS, the current leaderboard. Right? So that's that's uh, set right there. Then if you did load, we go to Game Center Files, and we run that authenticate local user routine. Okay. Moving down here. Let's try this one, increase score button. All right, when I increase the score button, my score is gonna go up and we store it in the label. That's all that does, okay? And uh, when the game is over, what do we do? Back up here, game is over. This sets the game center manager. That's, that's again, the, the uh, variable name we used to uh, game center files. Um, we're using a delegate, which means that here we are going to be running a method that's not in this 
view controller, but it's in another one, so that's what delicate means. Okay. And then we go to Game Center Manager and report the score. This says if the score is bigger than the achievement level, set the identifier. The identifier was level one. I could have made that a Boolean, or uh, sorry, a, a global uh, variable like we did up there for for um, the G, uh, where was it? Oh, GHS, our current leaderboard, but I just wrote it in here. In practice, you can have dozens of levels so you would be checking to see if the score is surpassed level one, level two, level three, and set the identifier accordingly. Then we go to Game Center Manager and submit that achievement. Okay. Finally, you want to be able to see Game Center. So this is the code that does it. I got piles of errors in this code depending on whose version I paste it in to try and get things working, but this is working as you see. When the game center comes up and I press done, you want it to disappear. So this just says leader, leaderboard view controller did finish. That will dismiss the game center view controller that pops up. So that's the code. And let, should we run it? Here we go. Here we are. This says, welcome back, Rob Smythe. That's me. So it already got authenticated, right? Because view did load did that. Let's see. Show game center. There it is. I got leaderboards and achievements in here. I haven't implemented challenges. So now we'll play the game. Here we go. I got a score of zero. Now we'll play it. Play it like crazy here. I'm really good at this game. I'm now up to 250. Finally, the game was over. So we show the game center again. Here's my score at 250. I'm in the top 5% of people who played this game since I'm the only one who's played this game. And have I achieved anything? Yes, level one has been granted because you recall level one was anything over 50. Right? So we're done. Reset achievements just means if I go back to game center and go to achievements, well, now it's waiting for me to achieve that again. Okay. So there we go. I hope this proves useful to you. Here are the references. This one is the Apple developer stuff. And in fact, they have a sample game, GK Tapper, but that gave me errors. I guess it was written for prior to iOS 6 or something. Ray Wenderlich, of course, he has all those wonderful tutorials on all sorts of stuff. He has one to make a multiplayer game and that's the one I started with, so I got that that code that deals with match one player playing another player, and I haven't actually implemented that yet, but that's where I got that code from. Uh, these two are were very useful. This part one and part two, that's I had used that first and got a game going initially with with this tutorial. And this is a tutorial that puts the game center stuff right in line and doesn't use the uh, delegate file. Finally, there's my website and I'll put uh, whatever source code I have here on there somewhere, I haven't yet, and you can download that if you wish. As I've mentioned in some of my other quickies, I'm not an experienced Xcode programmer. I'm learning as I go and I'm forgetting so fast that in order to try and help me remember, I'm going to try and teach it to you. So thanks for listening.